Hey guys, this is the App Reviewer 76, and today I have two apps I'm going to be reviewing on. Um, these are good for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch, especially for the iPad 3G capability. Um, these apps are phone apps, so pretty good for your 3G. You can act as your phone is an I your iPad's a phone when your phone dies. Okay, so. If you're going to use these, if you want to get all your contacts, you want to memorize all your numbers, what you're going to do is you're going to want to get this app called Bump for both your iPad and your um, iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever. So you're going to get it for whichever device you're getting the contacts for and whichever one you're getting the contacts from. So what I did is I got Bump for my phone and my iPad, bumped them together, transferred all the contacts. It took about a minute. To transfer over 100 contacts. So, the first can con the first app, sorry, I'm gonna be reviewing is called Whistle. It's free on the App Store. Um, it has the shows your recents, your contacts, your bon bonjour, which is um, let's say my phone has had Whistle on it, which doesn't have Whistle on it. Um. If I had whistle on it, they'd be able to talk to each other um, without needing to like call each other. So let's warm this up. And also, um, um, sorry. Um, ugh. <laughs> this also has two lines. This also has two lines on it, which are like, um, so let's say I was talking to my friend and then on line one, then another friend called on line two. I could put him on hold on line one or I could go to conference. So yeah. So let's get this started. I'm gonna go call my iPhone. Wait a second. Put some here because my iPad keeps slipping down. So I'm gonna call. Never pay for all commitments. Oh yeah, and it has an ad before, and it gets all distorted like this. Then it rings. So as you can see, it says my iPad. I'm gonna put this on mute so it doesn't repeat it. So, you can kind of hear, um, uh, you can hear it, and it, the noise that you're hearing right now is either from my voice, or from the iPad. Sorry about the echo. Sorry about the echo. So yeah, usually this doesn't have the echo in it, it's just because my iPad and my and also you can talk through the iPad too. Hello. Hello. I'm talking on my iPad right now. Whispering. So yeah. That's pretty much it. And it has ads. The only downside about this app is pretty much the apps, the ads, sorry, um, the ads, and also you can only talk for 20 minutes, but it does have multitasking enabled or whatever, to support multitasking. Um, the next app, called Text Plus, many of you probably heard of it, used it to text on your iPod. Um, what I'm gonna do. So this is basically just a texting app. So I'm gonna use iPhone. So I'm gonna do. Hey. And also for the iPad too, it does do photo, or you can send photos that are saved. Um. 
Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna send this. Any second it should get here. Three, two, one. And see there, it says hey. And usually, it should say like hey with a smiley face like that. I don't know why it has a question mark. So look. Do reply to that smiley face. It's loading. It takes a little while to check, so that's the only reason. But it may be either because it's on. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, you can also add. Um, you can choose your own number from your time, your area. So, like, if my area code was 637 or something, I don't know, just ran it off the top of my head. Um, I could set it to that. You just gotta put your, and then you can remove ads and sound pack. So yeah, these are two pretty cool apps you should get for your iPad, iPod Touch. So yeah, thanks for watching. This was the App Reviewer 76. Thanks.